Hello. It's been a while since I last um, posted any content on my channel and I thought, you know what, why not do a video of me filling one of my cylinders? Um, I've not actually used the hill compressor yet to do that and I figured it'd be good to actually show you guys how to, to simply fill a bottle from this amazing bit of kit. So the first thing you want to do before you actually fill your bottle is to give it an inspection. Every two and a half years it should be visually inspected to make sure that it's sound, that there's no obvious damage that's happened to the bottle or the equipment attached to it. And then every five years it should go under a, um, a hydraulic test to again make sure that the bottle itself is sound to be able to hold the pressure. These uh, should take up to 450 bar, but the safe working pressure on this is 300 bar, and that's what I'm going to be fitting it to today. Now, the way you connect the whip to the diver's bottle is by using a, um, a basically, it's a fitting that screws into the bottle and it's got a Foster quick coupler on the end. And when you attach this to the bottle, you do not want to use a wrench. It should be hand tight and that's it. That should be sufficient. So there we go, that's on. And the whip itself, it's a simple push pit and that's on, okay? Then what we need to do is pressurize the system. So I'm just gonna turn this around so you guys can actually see what's going on. And we need to close the bleed valve. So there's one there and there's also a bleed valve underneath the compressor here. So they're both shut. And now we're gonna pressurize it. So I'm gonna open up this valve and I'm gonna do it nice and steady. And you probably won't see this, but the gauge is actually increasing. And that's now fully open. And it's telling me that I've got 840 bars worth of pressure. So that's open. Next thing we do is we actually switch the unit off that's come on. So it's telling what's going on and it says press to confirm that the lubricant is okay. Well on the side of the unit you can see where my finger is that the lubricant's at the level. That's the silicon lubricant and we've also got oil and that's at the right level as well. So we're going to press to okay it. The target pressure is going to be 300 bar. So we're going to up that. There we go, I'm okaying it. And we're gonna start, it's saying that it's at 150 so far actually, and we're just gonna press start and away we go. Now that's it. That's gonna take a little bit of time to actually work. And what I've got here is my sound meter. I'm just gonna switch that on. And I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up. But it's saying 83, let me come around here. Saying 84.2 decibels to 87, 89, 90, 87. Obviously, because I'm talking, it's picking up my sound as well. So I'm just gonna keep quiet for a second. And that's running at 86 decibels. So we're up to 169 uh, bar of pressure. And of course, when this comes to 300 bar, then it has an automatic cutoff, and that'll be it. Now it's gonna take a little bit of time, this is a big bottle to fill. So we'll just let it work. Okay guys, so there you are. Seven minutes and 13 seconds in. Um, basically, the uh, compressor has just cut off to cool down a little bit. And so we're at 193 bar and we are 
basically 11 minutes in and it's just shut itself down again this is all part and parcel of a cooling process to make sure that it doesn't overheat and it doesn't put too much pressure into the system um, too quickly and then uh, it's going to kick back in again so let's just give it a second and see how long it takes so we're into the third cool down period now um, what are we at 199 bar 14 minutes 40 seconds in okay so that's interesting just to let you know that the operating temperature is from 66 to 76 degrees centigrade and um, you can see we're now at 205 bar and there you go just short of 18 minutes so that's the fourth cooling cycle So just out of interest, guys, I wanted to show you this. You've got the um, reading there on the digital display, 246, 247 bar. And then on this other little manometer that you can see here, I'm just trying to do this where the light's not affecting it. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. You can see that reading there. About the same, 247 and then if you look at the bottle gauge uh let me just try and zoom in on that it's 200 and that's looking at 239 bar so in one sense when this is filled up to 300 bar on the hill BC 3000 EVO um, you know that you're going to be in safe parameters excuse me you know you'll be in safe parameters because when the, the hill compressor hits 300 bar it's going to be slightly less than the um, manometer on the side of the bottle Well, we're getting close to 86. We've been going 71 minutes, 43 seconds. Shouldn't be too long now. We're getting really close now. 295. 77 minutes in, 50 seconds. I reckon another couple of cooling cycles. It's only going up sort of two or three bar each time now um, per fill. But obviously at this high pressure, it's having to work so much harder. 297. 79 minutes in. see how long it takes for this to cool down I guess it helps that it's a cool day
There we go, guys. Fill complete. And it's taken 80 minutes and 50 odd seconds to do. Right. So now we're going to do the reverse of what we do when we first connected up the machine to the bottle. Wait. So as it got past 250 bar, obviously the compressor was having to work harder in order to be able to squeeze that air into this uh, cylinder. And it was getting to its optimal uh, working temperature. So it was having to shut itself off more and more as it got up there. But, um, you know, it's, it's done the job now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it off and we're gonna unplug this in a certain way and we're gonna do this nice and safely. First off, I'm gonna turn this machine off. And that's that. Now I've got myself a dirty rag because basically when it comes to bleeding this, there's gonna be some silicon within the pipes and it's always sprays out. So we're gonna shut the bottle off. Okay, that's nice and tight. We're gonna release the bleed valve. And that releases the pressure in this pipe. Still just easing out a little bit. And then we're gonna release the pressure in this part of the compressor as well. And there's this little uh, bleed valve there. So as I, hang on a sec, which way do I go? There we go. And that's just sprayed out some silicon under pressure. That's why we have a dirty cloth. Give it a quick wipe down. And um, that's it guys. You know, it's as simple as that. We can unplug this. And that's one seven litre diver's bottle filled to 300 bar pressure. Hope you've enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I hope you've found it as interesting as I have. Till the next one. Take care, shoot safe, and uh, yeah, bye for now.